Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 64. It is Thursday today. It's a little cloudy, uh, kind of rainy, <laughs> kind of muggy and hot for October. So it is an interesting day with the weather. I feel like everyone everywhere can say that right now. The weather is just quite the fascinating topic of conversation. <laughs> I went to yoga this morning with my mom and one of the women that I was saying hi to on the way out. She's like, we're going to the lake this weekend and I think we're going to swim. (laughs) I'm like, oh my God, it's October. How is that even possible that we're swimming in October? But it is, it's really unusually warm here in Cincinnati. um, Yeah, things are, um, I was going to say moving fast, but aren't they always? (laughs) There's just a lot happening everywhere for everyone. So today when when I was feeling into a topic, you know, all these different ideas kept coming forward and and I was like, what I really want to talk about are my dreams. I want to talk about dreams, which is perhaps not, uh, I don't know, like we go from experiencing duality and these philosophical conversations about, you know, physical and spiritual and <laughs> life and death to dreams. Yeah, I just want to talk about my dreams today. So that's what we're going to do. Actually, it feels like dreams or reality <laughs> might be the title. So this morning I woke up early. This is why it's coming up for me today. I woke up really early from a couple of dreams that were super clear to me. And I finally woke my husband up <laughs> around five o'clock. I'm like, wake up, wake up. I need to talk, which probably isn't very kind when we don't get enough sleep but it was perfect for today and so I was sharing this dream I have lots of dreams about Oprah and I know it's because of the space that she holds on this planet and um, because I just feel this connection to her soul and and so she's in my dreams all the time and she was in a dream again last night and just telling me like great job you're doing great everything's going so well and I was sharing that with my husband. I'm like, she's always so encouraging in dreams. <laughs> she always is so nice to me. And she says the sweetest things, and then I feel better. You know, I feel like I'm on track and where I need to be and doing what I need to do. And and she consistently presents that way in dreams. And I have lots of dreams about different celebrities, but I don't see them in the dream. Like, they show up as the celebrity, so I know it's them. But that's not why they're in the dream. Like, they're always in the dream to give me some little nugget of wisdom or inspiration. And and then I remember them. That's what's so cool about dreams, right? I remember them. And so in the morning, as I'm starting my day and going into my meditation or yoga, like, the dreams come back and I remember the details. And then I'm inspired to continue on with my day because there's this feeling of being witnessed and cheerleaded for and encouraged and so, so it's just an interesting topic. And when I was leaving a message for a friend of mine after yoga today, for some reason, this dream about celery came back and I was sharing it with her. And so that's what I was thinking about when I was preparing for this call. I'm like, I want to share my celery dream because it's so cool. So that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. I was channeling my book about a month ago. It was right before I went to the trees and I recorded every day for a little over two weeks and each day I thought it would be 20 minutes of sitting with my phone and channeling like I do here, scribing. And it ended up being almost an hour, hour and a half uh, for each of the chapters and they it was so intense making sure each word was precise and it was just this really... Um, it was rough on my body to run that much energy for that long, that uh, powerfully. 
And so I could feel myself getting tired and depleted uh, minerally or physically, metabolically, if that's the right word. And so halfway through that process, I, I had a dream. It was on a Sunday morning, and I woke up right in the middle of the dream, and I fell back asleep, and I went right back into the dream. I woke back up. I went back in. Like, this dream lasted for hours. It, was, it felt like three or four hours I kept going back into the same dream. And the dream was I was sitting in this chair, and one of a woman I know pretty well was with me, and she was putting celery stalks into the base of my spinal column, like literally pushing celery stalks into my spine. And I, and I was telling her to keep putting more in. And I would wake up and go, what is this craziness? And then I'd fall asleep again. And I'd go right back to this chair with her putting celery in my back. And I'd like try to come out of the dream and wake up. I don't know if you've ever had that, but I couldn't stop. I kept going back and getting more celery. And I woke up in the morning exhausted, like, what is that? I don't even eat celery. Like, you know how people sometimes have celery with peanut butter in it? I don't even like that. I, don't, I barely like celery in my soup. I usually pull it out if there's like chunks of it that are too big. It's just a weird texture. And, and so I woke up like, I do not want to have celery in my body. Why? And then I meditated because I had our Sunday meditation call. And I wanted to figure out what was going on. And so I meditated for a little bit on my own. And what I kept getting is you need celery, a lot of it. There's something in the celery that's going to help your body right now. And so you need to have a lot of it. And I was like, I am not going to consume celery stalks. And so what I, what I got from the whole thing was you need celery juice. Okay, I don't juice. My friend has a juicer, but I don't juice. And so that day I decided to pay attention to my dreams. I'm like, well, I couldn't get out of it. It lasted all night. There's a reason my sleep was interrupted for that long. And so we came up with this recipe, my friend and I, for celery juice and some apples, a little ginger, a little lime. (laughs) So that night, I'm making celery juice, (laughs) like a big container of it. It tasted so good. It was it was delicious and like I couldn't drink it fast enough so for the next I don't even know few days I was guzzling the celery juice and I felt better like I didn't have the headaches my energy level was high I was sleeping better I didn't feel as hungry like it worked so quickly on my body And so later that week, I was talking to my friend who is an acupuncturist, and I was like, this is the oddest thing. I had this dream about celery. (laughs) She's like, celery is one of the best things you can do for your body, and it cools your system down, and it cleanses your blood. And I was amazed. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I have felt this week. You know, because I I should have probably researched, but I didn't. I just juiced and followed my dream and didn't do any (laughs) Googling. But I have recently looked it up, and celery is like this magical potion, according to lots of different articles. Like, it's really, really good for you. And it does millions of things inside of your body that we aren't even quite aware of all of the benefits of it. What I noticed was it gave me the strength and the clarity to move through a really intense time of channeling and it helped me finish the book within the time frame I had which literally was the day before I left to go on this vacation and it worked like the celery sustained my body and kept me going so that's been this example for me where it's so um, practical and so tangible and such a simple example (laughs) And yet it was a huge um, health benefit and life enhancer for me that was applied immediately. So I could have ignored the dream and just said that was really weird or forgotten about it or moved on to something else and not followed the advice that my soul, my body was screaming at me for hours that night. And I probably would have gotten sick. I would have depleted my body because I was running too much energy and my body was getting, I believe, too hot from how much I was burning. The celery helped me navigate that and I paid attention. And so there was this synergy. I guess this does tie into experiencing dualities from yesterday. You know, our 
our spiritual selves, our souls are feeding us information and others around us spiritually, energetically in our dreams are also feeding us information and all of that is meant to guide us in what we're doing here in this physical human journey. And lots of times we just ignore it or we tune that part of our mind out. So we wake up in the morning like, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> and then we move on. It was just a dream. You know, we go on with our day. But I really believe when we are paying attention, when I am paying attention, and when I follow what I remember from my dreams and somehow find a way to apply it or integrate it into my reality, my reality shifts. My reality becomes higher vibration. It it is more whole and healed and in alignment. I have another example of it is coming into my awareness as I'm recording right now. Um, I host these new moon circles at our house uh, around the new moon. And last month, it was going to be on a Wednesday. They're normally on Thursdays and Fridays. And it was going to be on a Wednesday because I was going out of town. This is right after all the celery stuff had happened. And I had a dream. It was that. Yeah, it was that one. I had a dream um, the night before. And in the dream... um, the, this woman was telling me that I was at, I was in my home. I was um, getting everything together. People were arriving for the circle, and just you know, sitting around chatting and talking and eating. And these two people arrived, and I said hi to the one. And I was like, "Oh, you're late. You were supposed to be here earlier, and you missed our session." And you know, it was just such a funny exchange. And I was like, "But it's okay. Like you're here now. We'll figure out the timing. It's going to be great." And then right behind him was this woman. And she was like, I was just magnetized to be here. Like, I don't know you and I don't know why I'm here, but I just couldn't stay away. (laughs) So in my dream, I was like, yay, (laughs) I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. (laughs) So we're just like walking around and I woke up, but I remembered both of those details. So that was the morning of the new moon circle. About 11 or 12 o'clock that morning, I get an email from this woman. (laughs) She says, I don't know why, but I feel like I need to be at your circle tonight. Is it too late? And can I come? And I was like, yeah, of course, you know, like not too late at all. Just complete it through the website. And I gave her all the directions. I'm really hoping to meet you. It'd be lovely. (laughs) So later that afternoon, when I was preparing for the circle, like sitting still for a few minutes, I was like, oh my God, I had that dream. And the woman, and she was being magnetized. I wonder if this is the woman. In the dream, the woman had this like beautiful long blonde hair and she just sort of looked like she floated through the room. Like she was just really like peaceful, just this beautiful energy coming from her. (laughs) So that night, so I'm like, if that woman shows up and she has long blonde hair, oh my God. (laughs) So that night, the person who I'd had the dream was gonna be late. I came upstairs in between sessions and I was like, is that person here yet? Because the session's supposed to start and he's not here. (laughs) And my friend's like, no, I haven't seen him. (laughs) So I'm literally standing in the like living room lobby area and the door opens and he comes flying in. He's like two minutes late. He's like, I'm so sorry I'm late. (laughs) I just started laughing. I went over and I gave him a hug. I'm like, it's okay. I already dreamed last night that you were going to be late. (laughs) It was hysterical. And then I, we go downstairs, we do our session. We come upstairs again because my office is downstairs. (laughs) It's not like we go downstairs. We went downstairs to my office. (laughs) That's where we do all of my sessions. And then we came back upstairs and I walk into the room and I was going to gather everyone together so we could say hi as a community for a few minutes. And I see this woman I don't know with long blonde hair. <laughs> I went over and was like, I know exactly who you are. <laughs> it was her. It was her. It was the woman from the dream the night before. Is that so cool? <laughs> so we just had the best conversation. Like she must have energetically sent her soul ahead to say, is this a good place? What's the vibe feel like? You know, is this somewhere where I want to be? And, and I got the message in my dream and I was like, yeah, come on in. <laughs> come on in and have some fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. One of my, uh, my former partner, my friend who I used to work with, <laughs> she would always say, you just can't make this shit up. <laughs> And we would laugh and laugh, because how? How could you make it up? Like, you can't come up with that stuff. 
And I just feel that right now. You know, our dreams, our dreams are these openings, these portals to information coming through from our souls, from our bodies, from our higher consciousness, from beautiful people with long blonde hair who want to come to your events. <laughs> like, <laughs> there are just all of these beautiful beings that are communicating, I believe, through our dreams. Oprah, tell me I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Oprah. <laughs> it's, it's such a gift. It's such a gift. And today it just felt like, oh, let's just laugh for a moment and enjoy the delicious, one of the delicious aspects of being a soul in a human body, which is dreams. You know, dreams, they're so good. And then allowing our dreams to become our reality and having it happen at a faster and faster rate, you know, with accuracy and with joy and with peace. So I challenge you, I invite you, I encourage you to perhaps tell your soul before you go to sleep tonight, like, let's dream. (laughs) Let's have some good dreams and remember them. And remember them. And then in the morning, follow whatever you get in your dreams and see where it takes you. You know, we'll let it be playful and fun and an experiment. (laughs) And then let me know. (laughs) Let me know what Thank you for tuning in to today's vibration. Let's take this message of pure love out into all of our communities and continue expanding love here on Gaia. So much love from my heart to yours.